This is a classic question. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? If there's, it's, it's related to the uh, theodicy question, which is, if there is a God, then why did He create evil to begin with? Potential evil to begin with. And there's a whole, uh, you know, almost infinite universe of discussion and books about that. Uh, in, in my, in the metaphysics I propose, um, which is, and this component of my metaphysics is, is not original, that um, everything is twin, good and evil is twin, light and dark is twin, uh, male and female is twin, that initially, uh, quest potential, um, <clears throat> a divided zero, whatever zero is into pluses and minuses, good and evil, uh, and therefore, um, infinite divine, and this is with consonant with classic Jewish philosophy, uh, had, to, had to allow the creation of both. In order to create good, had to also allow creation of evil. But again, it's a whole, it's a whole almost infinite discussion, in and of valid infinite discussion. Well, what is evil the creation? You can have a discussion about that also, where's the absence of good? These are also, these are all fair, fair game philosophical issues. But all those issues and discussions sort of precede me. They precede this book. This book is built on top of those issues. Okay, I want to deal with that. Uh, theology did not start today. Theodicy did not start today. We have a long history with this. And philosophers use their brain power and use the philosophical insights they had or whatever information they had to try to deal with this issue. Frequently, Maimonides is quoted with this, St. Thomas Aquinas is quoted with this, etc. And correctly, you deal with these issues. Is Maimonides perfect? Did he have all the answers? And it, there's a negative there. Did not have all the answers. Aquinas didn't have all the answers. They all have pieces. Pieces, one, one piece, another piece, another piece, another piece. But the total theology, or the total theodicy, is not there. And the Odyssey is a question. Philosophy is a question. The nature of God is a question. And our whole world is dealing with it, or not dealing with it, or can't deal with it, or has, is ignoring it or putting on the back burner. And so I think we have to come back to what you did, build on what everybody else said, what everybody else put on the table, right. and see whether we can come up for our generation, which is not 5,000 years from now or not 5,000 years ago, but for our generation, is there a total theodicy that we can deal with? Can we make peace with all the good that's in the world and with all the evil that's in the world? And where do we put God in there and where do I fit in there? And is there a message that we can convey to the human being on the street? Exactly. And that, that, that's very good. You know, that would be a very good introduction to this whole symposium. That's, right? that's correct. That puts right. the cards on the table. Right. That lays it out. That lays it out. And, um, you know, it's a uh, uh, a big undertaking to propose an overarching metaphysics. And uh, I'm the first to agree with Robert Decatur that all the other players to date that we're aware of have pieces missing in their tapestry, key pieces missing. And from my perspective, and I'm sure from, from your perspective, you can't say you have three quarters of pieces, but I'm not quite. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. Either you have it all, or you, you have, have nothing. nothing. Right. Correct. And this is consonant with uh, Jewish thought and Talmudic thought. And you name you have to be total and consistent. Right. And and it must be internally. It must hold together internally, and it must be what I would call internally elegant. Now it might be right. It might be wrong. And fit into a <coughs> fit into an appropriate hermeneutic. Right, 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 right. But it might be right, it might be wrong, but at least it's, it's internally elegant and, and hangs together and covers all the bases. What are some of the bases? If there is a God, why is there evil? If there's a God, where did God come from? If there's not a God, where did everything come from? Where did the cosmos come from? Where is the cosmos headed? What is the purpose of man? These are some of the key, key core issues I call them the issues that six-year-olds ask but never get answered. And which metaphysics alleges to answer, but generally does a shuffle. It does a semantic shuffle around the difficult issues. And Summa alleges that it deals, has, that it provides an overarching metaphysics, which simultaneously deals with all these issues. In an understandable manner. 
right in a relatively understandable manner, in a graspable manner. That's true. And we're here to discuss the graspable aspect of it. Is it nonsense or is it graspable and real? That's, those are the, that's the basic divide here. Is quest potential a nonsensical um, semantic construct or is, is it a valid construct which cracks the cosmic code? It's hard to say that it's somewhere in the middle. It's sort of one or the other. And that's what we're here to discuss. There is no middle. There is no middle. That's correct. There is you're no either middle. in or you're out. Right. And that goes for both metaphysics and it goes for this metaphysics. And uh, uh, so perhaps, um, perhaps we might say, what are some elements of this metaphysics that, that are intriguing to you? Because it's hard to get on for the whole two volume right. series. What aspects of it are intriguing to you, or what aspects of it that you find vulnerable? Either one, it would seem to me either intriguing or vulnerable, worthy of discussion with this panel, and either either is fine. Either is fine. We're not shy. Let me throw in a little curve. Right. Uh, in addition, I think you have to add the concept of time. That uh, it doesn't have to be solved within the next five minutes, and maybe time, it could be a, a century or so, will make things clearer. And uh, given time. Uh, it could either prove it or disprove it. 